Like, I know I've been to one, I just... I'm having a hard time. It's not a school. Oh! Yes! Look at this! A chemical suit! <laughs> oh, Moscow. Thank you for treating the Birdman right. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Day R Survival. I'm your host, the bird known as Falcon. Today is the big day, ladies and gentlemen. We're here outside of Moscow. I went through Kimki already. I picked up what I wanted to pick up at Kimki. Here we have a bit of a, a little small camp for us in the woods, which is next to Moscow because I got all the stuff that I don't need for Moscow on the floor. We're at 40 load. We're about to go in there, lo um, loot that place up for one, and also. This is also quest related, so we haven't done anything quest related in a while, so I'm very excited about it. We're good to go, let's not spend any more time, and jump right into Moscow. I found a tactical map with the location of nuclear missiles. The enemies will be punished. The first missile is near Smolensk. What? Oh, good god. Why all the way over there? Well, I mean, it's not, it's not too far considering some of the roads we've taken in the past, but it's still kind of far. So that's the only thing quest related here in Moscow, just that missile location? Huh, I was hoping for a bit more in here. Well, I mean, we could go there, we probably will. But we can't just leave Moscow when we just barely hit the place, so we gotta check it out a little bit too. So how about we zoom on in, and let's find out exactly how much of this map... Oh my god. Alrighty. Yep, that's, um... That's pretty big. That's, um... That's pretty big. Yep. Is it... It's obviously bigger than Leningrad, but by... By how much? Like, was... No, I think Leningrad was probably, like, down through here, right? Like, this much, perhaps? So this adds, like, maybe three more, I guess, rows of buildings for us? Yeah, that's what it seems like. Alrighty, well... So the first thing we'll stop to is gonna be right over here, which would be a pharmacy, which is always good. Uh, especially for the radiation medicine. We're running into a lot of radiation areas now, so that's going to be something we definitely have to stock up on. Especially when I check out some of those areas, some of those towns that are just radiation area only. We only found one, and yeah, it's going to have to do. So we'll take that, we'll take that. And that's it for here. Let's go ahead and uh, mark you so I don't have to worry about you in the future. So over through here, we just got buildings, domiciles, domiciles, let's see. That might be one of the clinics too, right? These are just buildings we have. Ooh, a construction site. For all we know, we could probably find ourselves another chainsaw there. We already have one by Leningrad. Mm, this is really not too important. The wards usually have the good stuff, right? Yeah. Got more radiation medicine, yeah. So I already have an extra chainsaw by Leningrad. So I know eventually if I want to... I mean, assuming we do the series long enough to get to that point, I will need the chainsaw for faster wood collection so that we can make our our home base or whatever. But that's gonna be further down the line. Right now we're still basically on the road. But the chainsaw would be very useful. We only got one? Man. It's hoping for a bit more than just one. Since we're near the police station, let's get that out of the way now. I do want to get some more of those parts for the next level weapons that I'm gonna make here. So if we go to the weapons, let's see. We have you coming up next, but to my understanding, I don't have too many Nagin parts. I do have more parts for the 74 than the Nagant. The only problem is that the 74 is level 9. <laughs> so we still gotta go through 6, 7, and 8 for that. And we're like roughly halfway done through to get to 6. So it's still far away, but at least having the parts already I think would be very useful. Plus if we get some more gunpowder off of bullets and things like that, that won't be pretty bad because we'll be able to make some more bullets for my shoddy here. Which I haven't tested out in combat just yet. Um, I would, but the problem is I have so much food right now that I don't necessarily want to hunt just for the sake of hunting. I'd rather just hunt when I want to get some more dried meat and stuff like that, so... That's something I'll do off in my own time, though. Usually for the videos, I just make progress for us, and then off-camera I do my leveling. Cause just sitting in one location leveling a stat over and over, that could get pretty boring, I'm pretty sure, so... As with the progress here, at least we're, we're seeing different areas at the same time. Let me have a tea. Oh, you ding-dong, you forgot to bring the, the pots? I thought I got all the good stuff, but I left the pot behind. Oh, that's no good. That's not ideal. We gotta find a place with a pot maybe down here? Hopefully. <laughs> we'll find something. I mean, it's a freaking big area. We could probably find something. This It's a grocery store? We'll probably find one right there. It's alright. We don't gotta do it right now. 
We'll just have some water if I have to. Armory, there we go. Another tactical vest and another gas mask. That's something I will definitely take with me, the tactical vest. We got one in full order that we're wearing. I think I have like two outside of the area, outside of Moscow. People have been telling me to start focusing on rubber parts too. I have a lot of them. Luckily, I have been picking up most of the ones that I've been seeing thus far. I think maybe I've missed like one or two here and there, but for the most part, I've been pretty good about picking those bad boys up. And they're mostly needed for the higher level cars and vehicles I'm going to be making eventually. So if we can't find the vehicle from that one quest, we'll have to make one. So I guess the rubber parts would be useful for that. Motorcycle, for instance, requires five. Oh, that's good. We have enough for that. And if I want to make this vehicle, that requires ten. If I want that one, 10. So the vehicles will be 10, that'll be 5. Or 15 for this one over here. Yeah, no, I think we're good. But I'll definitely take that. Alright. And you. And that's it for here. And let's go over to you. Department store. Now over here I'm seeing some rusted tools. That's the other thing I can't find too recently. Tools. Like the ones that I run into are all rusted as well. So axes and tools have like a really big deficiency on at the moment. But we'll have to rely on those. Meanwhile, take use of them over here. Exploring, you're usually good. Take you, take my salt. So we'll skip that here. Grocery store. Oh, come on. The grocery store sometimes have a utensil to cook. What about you? Restaurant. There we go. It's rusted, but it'll have to do at least for now. I have some more high quality ones outside of the camp but at least for inside so I could oh radiation 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 wait a second easy there buddy easy there let's just get drunk having issues with radiation just get drunk it's all fine what's the worst that could probably happen from you walking around drunk in a radiated area <laughs> nothing at all I'll be perfectly fine are those the pickled tomatoes as well oh yeah anything pickled I'm in for that's all I want here. So, because we got some water, we just have to purify here. Let me just boil some of you. That way we could do... Coffee to take care of that fatigue. Oh, that took care of it. Well, you know what? I believe there is this here. Not hungry enough for it? Oh, I beg to differ. You're hungry enough for it. You got a four. Oh, I'm sorry, a force not enough now. No, that's not hungry enough. Well, are we done here? Yeah, we are. So let's go ahead and just uh, mark this bad boy. Things are getting kind of dark. Do I not have my... Oh, torches. We got four of them, so we're fine. No ambushes with those around. Okay, and over here we skipped over, which was the grocery store. More vodka. And salt. And I do love my salt from assaulting, so I'll definitely take that. Now, coffee. Ah, the coffee went cold so fast. So it'll still take care of this here. Like, you see how this is like thirst 30 and 20? It's still fine. Like, that's the thing I've always avoided before because I used to think that after two hours it'd go bad. But it just goes cold and it'll still give you a decent effect. It's just not as um, potent as when you have hot coffee. But it's not too bad still. 30 and 20 is not bad. Not at all. And it remains seven days fresh, or at least seven days fresh after it's cold. So that's not too bad. It's just cold coffee. You know, I think a lot of people don't like cold coffee. Like, I think cold coffee is an acquired taste. I remember, like, when I... I'm a big coffee drinker now, right? And I started drinking coffee as a young kid. Like, really young. Probably not the best idea, I would say. You know, like, I mean... I don't think necessarily coffee is bad, but, you know, it's still a high-caffeinated drink. Like any other high-caffeinated, like sodas and stuff. I mean, it's high-caffeinated, but as a kid, it's not too normal. But I used to always see my parents drinking coffee, so I was like, I want a coffee and... I think like my dad had the bright idea, like, hey, let's give him some coffee, and I, I like coffee. I don't think I was that young, maybe like around 10 or 12. <laughs> Is that too young for coffee? I don't know, but I'm, I'm hooked on coffee. But that being said, it took me a while to get into cold coffee. I didn't get into cold coffee until like I actually got a job at a coffee store when I was grown up or like, you know, an adult. And uh, I used to never like the idea of cold coffee was kind of like, ugh. And then I just worked at a coffee shop and I eventually got accustomed to it and I like cold coffee now. It's not like my ideal choice, but but a lot of people don't like it. It's kind of like, you know, I mean, a lot of people don't like coffee as it is, so cold is even worse, I would imagine, but I don't know. Different strokes for different folks, I suppose. Uh, let's have you now, and that's really all she wrote here. Mm. A little bit fatigued, but not really too big a deal. Whatever's left over here, I don't really care about too much. This extra food that we could cook. 
Food's not even a problem for me at the moment. Alrighty. So with this done, let's go over to some of our high points now. So the armory, definitely university. What is this? What? Is that like a... Oh, that's, that's the technical university or something, right? Like, I know I've been to one, I just... I'm having a hard time. It's not a school. Oh! Yes! Look at this! A chemical suit! <laughs> oh, Moscow. Thank you for treating the Birdman right. Okay, this is a, a brand new item for me. I'm excited about this. I, I, I'm always really happy when I find something completely brand new to me. And it's so weird because, like, there's so many different items in this game. So many different equipment, components, you know, just everything. And this far into the game, like, I feel like I'm in Moscow. I've made some significant progress. But even now, I'm still finding new things. So it still just excites me just when I see it. It's kind of like, wow, look at that. There's still so much more that I haven't, like, you know, even gotten into just yet. So that's very cool. Um, speaking of which, did I pick up the the military vest that, uh, yeah, we did pick it up. I, I almost thought I had, like, another brain fart moment, too, where I forgot about it. Some revolver ammo? Oh, yeah. Oh, some revolver ammo? Revolver ammo. Don't get tongue-tied. Take this. Take that. Absolutely taking you. And we'll search you bad boys out here. Nothing really too crazy. Take you, and that's really all she wrote here. Um, let me look at this chemical suit here. Will break in one month, but I'm pretty sure it's only if you're actually wearing it, right? So right now it's fine. Protection 100, stowed bonus 100. So is this like a, a piece of equipment like for... For body? I just want to check it out. Oh no, it works as a vest. Hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Alright. So it works as a vest. So I can still keep my armor on and use that. That's very cool. Alrighty. I like that. Now, yeah, we're done here completely. Radiation's at 14. So that was the armory here. Very good. Man, the headquarters, more vodka. I'm gonna go through this just because if I could find more of these army bodies, I'm pretty sure. I'm not pretty sure, but I'm, I'm, I'm hoping for more of those Negans so they could break them down and then have enough parts for the Negan revolver, which we need 20. And I know I'm not close to 20 just yet. I'm still probably like at maybe 8 or 10 at this point, I would hope. But still far away from making my own. And if we're going to upgrade from the shotgun afterwards, that's probably the one we're going to have to use, because the 74 is still really, really far away from us. And let's see, I'll take you. And you momentarily. And speaking of which, let's have some of this vodka now to take care of that issue. Gotta get some sleep here at some point. I guess I could have the coffee meanwhile. Yeah, why not? Alright. That'll do. I still gotta get some rest at some point. As much as I hate sitting down to sleep here, I gotta do it. So this is done. Let's check out the canteen. More bodies. As expected. Another saucepan too. Another rusted one, but I guess we'll carry it for now. Not sure how much longer I'll spend it in here, but rather have a couple of extra can or the saucepan so we could boil stuff. Mm, that's porridge up there too, if I'm right. Sugar, salt. Take you. Let's pat you bad boys down. What you got on you? No Nagans? Ah! Disappointing. Oh, a second one, though. All right. I'm lucky now with the chemical suits here in Russia, and I'll take you. Very cool. Let's have you. Just because it'll lower my, my hunger, but I'll have... I'll, like, boil one of you guys. And just take care of my thirst this way while we're at it. That's acceptable. Let's actually boil one more. I should have done. Should have just um, boiled this instead. Knock my hunger and my thirst down. That's good. All right. We're done here. Let's check out infirmary. And I believe also the the lots should have a couple of soldier bodies as well. And like whereas the goods aren't really too important at the, I'm just searching right now just mainly for the bodies because trying to get all up in that Negan action here. And that was a terrible one. Okay. The garage. How about that? Body as well. Rusted hacksaw. And more rubber parts. More of those ca- Oh! I just noticed what the hell was in there. Is that a tank? Dude, it's a tank. 40 tons. Yeah, I don't think we're carrying that. <laughs> I don't think we're carrying a tank anywhere. Oh my god, hold up. Hold up, hold up, mechanics. Hold up. 
Yep, you can make your tank in the game, too. You can make a tank. Last level, though. I'm curious about this. What do you need for the helicopter right now? Uh, you need to find a broken helicopter for one. You need some of these parts. MI-24, which is the parts for the... Okay, so you have to find one, have the parts for it. Rover parts, steel. 7,000 steel. Ooh, boy. I, I know how to get steel from breaking down the, the vests after they've depleted. Five ca battery parts. Electrical cables. I actually have electrical cables. So I'm carrying a lot of those right now. Insulating tape. That's going to be too bad. Machine oil. Welder. Generator. <laughs> Okay. It it seems like a lot of stuff, but at the same time, it kind of doesn't, if that makes any sense. Um, but you know what? We're going to mark this as a location for us if we ever get the chance to make a tank. We got to know that, hey, it's going to be here. So this is going to be definitely marked as a vehicle, I guess. Maybe a vehicle. As a vehicle is fine. And we'll mark it as, like, purple. And purple means, like, yo, that's one of the best vehicles over here, dog. So you better come back here if you ever get the chance to do that. So... Makarov. I'll just assemble for the mechanics. Let me get this, and you, and you. And scrap you. Okay. That is acceptable for now. I wonder what happens if I... Oh, I can't disassemble the tank? Huh. So if you can't disassemble the tank, how do you get the parts for it? Do you just find them? Or do you make the parts? Hmm. Questions that I got. Well, let's see here. 16 radiation. Checkpoint. Eh, we gotta check it out just for that body. Luckily, only one search is all I need here. Nothing of value. This will be the warehouse. Usually, the warehouse is only one search, too, right? Nope. Not this time. Radiation, relax. I'll take care of you right now. As a matter of fact, we should do that now. I'm about to pass out, too. Mmm. -hmm. Let's make some tea here. How much does the tea take care of? That'll have to do. Some of that. And then maybe one more for now. And we'll pop the wine. <laughs> Trying to avoid that sleep as much as possible. Oh, we're out of mass too. Well, that's probably the reason why it's been going up so fast. I know I brought all of my mask with me too. So, ooh, that's a problem. Well, it's not a problem. We could easily make another one here. I don't want to use the gas mask that we have. I'd rather waste that for really important situations. So we'll just do like one and two for now. And equipment. Where are you at? There you are. Wear it. Got my gas mask here. Speaking of which, um, we got to be low on the torch now, don't we not? Oh, we just got two. But uh, firewood missing. That should easily be taken care of that way. Make like one and two. And we're out of rags now. But I'll get some easily from that, and not only the fact that we have to still find us a couple more bodies here. Alright. This has been really good. I'm I'm excited about the chemical suit alone and the fact that we've seen a tank now. 394 sugar, that's a really good. I'll take that. And let's see. Nagant! Come on. Oh, smokes, I'll take that. Eh, I got enough needles now. That's the really terrible one anyway. So I can stay behind. Everything else over here is cool. Let me get some of these... R I'll carry them for now, since we're very low on them. That's cool. Let's see. Food. Have you. We're fine. I think we got, like, two more through here. Oh, man. Forget how long the military base There's so many small little components to the freaking military base. This should be the last one, though, right? Unless we haven't hit the, the middle area just yet. Because we're out of time already, too, I'm noticing here, as well. And there's still so much more to check out that I wanted to check out. But more than likely what's going to end up happening is that I'm going to check all that stuff out off-camera. So that next episode, I'll probably be done with Moscow. At least the... First time I've seen you. The most seen naked rifle. Well, I'm happy to see I think that's the first time I've seen you, anyway. But yeah, I'll do um, a lot of the Moscow searching off camera, at least the important parts, like I did with Leningrad. In the next episode, we'll probably start taking the road. I'm not sure where we're going. I guess if we want to do some of that quest for the Moscow thing, we got to go up towards this area. And then for finding the troop, we got to go the opposite area. But that's going to be like 900 or 800 or something, while well, this is like 300. So I think we'll probably wind up going to the Moscow thing for the missile. And then 
we'll go over to the other one. Because if we go over there and back, it's going to take a bit longer, I would imagine. But then again, if I do the other one first, I'll probably get the vehicle you guys are talking about. Hmm. Well, I don't know. I'll make a decision off camera. And that'll be it. I'd wait for you guys to tell me, but I'm like, usually, I try to be like, I'm I'm usually like maybe an episode or two ahead of you guys. Like when I release a video, I already have like an extra one or two ready to go. Um, so I would wait for your guys to tell me, but I guess I'll just make a judgment call. I'll figure it off camera though. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next episode. As always, leave your tips. I will catch you next time.